out of my way. I don't waste my time on weakness. Stay where you are! You're the only captain left! We can't afford to lose you! He killed them all. And he'll pay for it. Damn you! You will die tonight! <laughs> All I know is that somewhere along the way, she lost control and went over her limit. It's a fate that is all but inevitable for a Claymore. Uh, wait, what did you just say? Priscilla was a Claymore? Yes. And Awakening is one of many cruel eventualities for their kind. For this. The claimers are doing their best to keep them back, but even the lowest rank ones are there. But it's hopeless. What? The lowest rank claymores? Wait, are you sure about that? Claire is there. I have to go and find her. We swore we'd live to see each other again. I've kept my end of the bargain. This time, I'm going to protect you. If I just had more speed, more power. I could have saved Flora and protected Jean. I need more. More speed. I need more. Oh, oh I'm a... What? What the hell? What happened? Believe it. You just appeared out of nowhere and took my arm off. I never even saw you coming. But now, it's my turn. You've earned my undivided attention. What the hell? What happened to her legs? You allowed only your lower half to awaken. Anything I have to give you credit for originality. Claire, no! I'm sorry, were you looking for this? You may have awakened, but I bet regeneration didn't get any easier. You bitch! Claire, behind you! You think you've got me beaten just because you've cut off one measly arm? <laughs> good is being able to move so fast when you don't even have the skill to maintain control. When you start moving, it's hard to make even small changes in direction. Once you've committed to your move, I'll just alter my attack at the last second. Your lack of control destroys any chance your speed may have given you. 
Not to mention, you forced your lower half to awaken independently. That's tricky, and it's causing a major strain on the rest of your body. Damn you! You'll never win. You're as weak as the rest of them. <laughs> He's right. I need more. I can't defeat him like this. Whether attacking or defending, your moves are too extreme. You've lost your former precision. Besides, your pathetic little body just isn't built for that kind of abuse. What makes you think you can battle against an awakened bee and come out of it alive? You're simply not equipped. Rocky should arrive in Pieta soon if he hasn't already. I wonder if he's found the person he's looking for. If he intends to find her before she falls to Rigoldo, he doesn't have much time. Tell me, Priscilla, are you concerned for his safety? Don't be. You'll see your new friend soon enough. I'll fall for the same trick twice. You and your friend are both dead. What the? I don't understand. How does she suddenly have the power to control her speed? So strong. I need more. He has to die. I need more. Uh, this one's good. Entertaining. I can't even remember the last time I had to fight this hard. Not since my battle with Easley. That was ages ago. Since then I fought nothing but weaklings. How quickly I forgot. This sensation. The fire in my blood. I finally feel alive again. <laughs> All I want is to kill this one. <laughs> as the Silver-Eyed Lion King. I will kill you!
Yes. The smell of a yeoman. It certainly takes me back. The Claymore's fighting in Pieta must be tougher than the ones I remember. They succeeded in forcing the Silver-Eyed Lion King to take them seriously. But still, their chances of surviving are slim. <laughs> Claire is beginning to gain control over her awakened half. Damn. You're kidding me, there's still civilians here? trying to do get yourself killed let go of me <sighs> if you want to stay alive you won't leave this room understand just leave me alone there's someone I have to find and you can't stop me hold on I remember you the brat Claire was traveling with. I'm not a brat. My name's Rocky, and there's something I have to take care of. Whatever it is you came here for, Rocky, forget it. You have to leave Pieta at once. But Claire's here. You mean you came all this way to see her? Listen, you can't handle what Claire is going through right now. Leave while you still can. I won't leave without her. I made a promise I have to keep. Because I promise. I'll be trying my hardest to survive and come back to you. Helen, fine, I'll go after him. Is that really Claire? Her body is continuing to awaken. She's awakening? Yes. And awakening is one of many cruel eventualities for their kind. So unless she can stop... I can't let that happen. She can't. No. Do you understand now? There's nothing you can do to help her. So just go home. That's not true. It can't be.
Don't you get it? Claire needs more help than you can give her. You should just go home. If you're going to stay, stick with me. It's not enough. I need more. More speed. More power. You're better than I thought. That's too bad. It's time I ended this! This is the end. Blood using that speed of yours while you're holed up in there. You're out of places to run. It's over. Your head is mine. She do that! No way! This isn't happening! You killed my comrades! My friends! I feel it. A new Yokiora. What's the matter? Priscilla? Enough to defeat this monster! I need more! Stop, Claire! You're pushing yourself too far! Uh. I need more! I have to have more! <laughs> she focused her energy completely on trying to defeat me. She even allowed her legs to awaken, and in a matter of minutes was able to learn to control them. She's amazing. Unforgettable emotions. Unimaginable tragedy and rage that will not die. Next Claymore, Critical Point 2.